If you've got an Asus ROG Ally, there's a pretty simple tweak you can make to squeeze out more performance in some of your favorite games. By increasing the VRAM, that's video RAM, you can allocate more memory specifically for graphics. What this means is that games with higher resolution textures can load more of those textures into the available RAM, which helps the game run smoother because it doesn't have to constantly access the storage. But of course, there's a catch. Upping the VRAM means you're taking away from the regular RAM your ROG Ally uses for other tasks. It comes with 4 GB of VRAM enabled by default, but you can crank it up to 8 GB if you want. The key here is to find a sweet spot where you get better performance without bogging down the overall system. Now you're probably wondering which games will benefit the most from this tweak. Users have reported that games like Diablo 4 and Need for Speed see a nice bump in performance when the VRAM is set to 6 GB. Sometimes leaving it on auto might not be the best option, so it's worth playing around with these settings to see what works best for your specific lineup of games. Changing the VRAM settings on your Asus ROG Ally is a breeze. First, you'll need to launch Armory Crate, which is the software where you can tweak all sorts of settings for your device. Once you're in Armory Crate, head to the Settings menu, then select Operating Mode. From there, go to GPU Settings, and you'll find the option to change your VRAM value. You can adjust this to any of the available options, but remember, your ROG Ally has 16 GB of total RAM. So if you set the VRAM to 8 GB, you're left with 8 GB of regular RAM for everything else. This tweak isn't just about better graphics though. Increasing the VRAM can also reduce stuttering in games. For example, games like The Last of Us will benefit from the ability to use higher resolution textures, and you can expect smoother gameplay in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. On top of that, some games won't even run unless you increase the VRAM. Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Rainbow Six Extraction are two examples where you might get a memory error if you don't boost the VRAM. But what if you need more regular RAM for multitasking or using your ROG Ally as a laptop replacement? In that case, you can decrease the VRAM. Setting it to 2 GB would leave you with 14 GB of regular RAM, which can be really helpful if you're running a bunch of applications simultaneously. So, what are the pros and cons of adjusting your VRAM? On the plus side, higher VRAM means your device can handle high-resolution textures better, which is great for games with detailed graphics. It can also help reduce stuttering in resource-intensive games. And as I mentioned, some games require more VRAM just to run properly. On the downside, increasing VRAM takes away from the regular RAM, which can affect the overall performance of your system, especially if you're running multiple applications. It might take some trial and error to find the perfect balance for your needs. On the flip side, games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Rainbow Six, extraction may require higher VRAM settings just to avoid memory errors. This makes adjusting the VRAM a crucial step to ensure these games run smoothly on your ROG ally. Finding the right balance might take a bit of tinkering. Start with the auto setting and see how your games perform. Use in-game benchmarks and monitoring tools to track the impact of your changes. Adjust the VRAM in small increments to find that sweet spot where your games run smoothly without compromising the system's overall performance and always consider your use case. If you're using the ROG Ally for more than just gaming, you might want to prioritize regular RAM over VRAM. In conclusion, tweaking the VRAM on your Asus ROG Ally can significantly enhance your gaming experience. Keep an eye on your overall system performance and adjust as needed to ensure you're getting the best experience possible. It's all about finding that perfect balance to suit your gaming and multitasking needs. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed what we presented in this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Catch you guys later.